Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I wanted to check out how to range check your Jumper T16 radio. I use my FreeSky V8R4 receiver, which is quite old, and then an XM Plus, and then also use my toy grade quadcopter, the Sama. The results were very interesting. Um, if you've watched this video and you have any idea why I got the results I did, maybe you could let me know in the description below this video because the results were very interesting. Obviously, this is not a very scientific way of doing things, but um, you can take use the information how you wish. This part of the video shows me testing the FreeSky V8R4 in range mode. Okay, I'm out in the field, so now what I'm gonna do, I've turned on my radio and put it into range mode. I don't think you'll be able to see it because of the sunlight. And I'm gonna walk away with the aeroplane and see when I lose signal to somehow try and work out how you do a range check on a 2.4 gigahertz radio because in the olden days you would just put the FM aerial down walk away and if you got to a certain distance then you knew everything was okay with your setup so let's start walking and see what happens okay I'm going to point that to this I put out a 50 meter line so let's see how far I get with this old V8R4. There we go. Just lost signal. Let's go back. So there we go. So let's have a look at the, the tape measure. We only got 16 meters. There we go. We only got 16 meters with that one. That's interesting. Okay, let's carry on going just to make sure we, there we go, so it is approximately 16 metres, go back, there we go, interesting, only 16 metres with that one, as I say I'm not really sure what the distance should be, but maybe... okay, so with the FreeSky V8R4 I only got 16 to 17 metres away, okay let's now try with the XM Plus. This part of the video shows me testing the XM Plus FreeSky receiver in range mode. Okay, I would suggest you do this at home. I'm just doing this for the test. I've got a good grip on the quadcopter and because of the sunlight, I can't see the um, LEDs of the board. So, but I wouldn't suggest you try this at home, but let me do it just for this experiment. I'm gonna arm the quadcopter and then just walk away with it and see how far I can get away. There we go. It's complaining about it, but anyway, let's try. Okay, we're at 50 metres away. Oh, right. <laughs> no fell safe yet. Shame, it's complaining. There we go. Okay, I'm going to measure that distance. Okay, there we go. It's, it's it fell safe. I'll measure the distance a bit later and then give that to you. But I would say it's around approximately 40 meters. Now you can see where my quad bike and the radio is, and it fell safe there. Okay, I'm going to unplug this little okey now. I've just checked the distance that the FreeSky XM Plus went and if you look at this it was 47 meters so that's 97 meters before the quadcopter went into fail safe. This part of the video now shows me testing the Sama X5C1 quadcopter in low power mode. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to use the same uh, toy grade quadcopter and do the same check. This one's easy to do because we can see the lights. Okay, that's interesting. We've already lost the signal. Wow, interesting. Okay, let's try again. Let's walk away while it's, it's bound. 
I walked a long way away and it showed no signs of fail safing. Oh, I don't think this is a good test because it cannot still be connected. That's impossible. We've gone past where the XM Plus works, so there is something not oh, close to there. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run a test. I'm going to fly it on low power mode and let it drop out the sky and see how far it goes. Let's try that trick. Okay, let's try this little trick. I'll fly it down with the R. Okay, I suggest you don't try this because it is going to drop out the sky. So I just want to fly down with the RS side ship. See how far. Well, oh, that's such a light little quad. Eight minutes. I can't believe this. That's 50 meters away. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. That was on the range check and I went 50 meters with it. That's amazing. Okay, um, I'm gonna run the test again and walk away and see if the lights eventually do go off. I don't know how far I'm gonna to have to walk away, but we will try it. Okay, let's give that a go. All right, let's walk away again. I can't believe that. On the range check, I managed to go 50 meters with this little quadcopter. I cannot believe that this is not fail safe. I mean, I flew right to the end of the... I flew right to the end of the tape and it kept them working. My goodness. Now, there must be something, something else going on here. Let's see if I have to walk down to the silos. Come on. Because that is just crazy. I'm just way too far away from it for it to still be connected. Um, stranger things have happened, I suppose. So let's go back. Okay, I'm going to shut down now. And I'll see when I get back to the quad bike is if it actually is still connected. But this is very interesting. I'd like to get someone to assist me and then drive down the road and then test this. Bit low key. I have taken it very, very high. The first one that I had and I lost, I went up extremely high. I could only just see the helicopter. Anyway, this is a good exercise for me. Amazingly, when I got back to the quad bike, the same uh, quadcopter was still bound to the radio. I just armed and off she went. So I can't believe it went that far. Okay, let's try something else. I've put the transmitter into low power mode. Now let's walk away with it and see what happens to this little same quad. This little one doesn't want to give up. Wow. Okay. Next test, turn the radio off and see if it starts blinking. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Inactivity alarm. Let's turn the radio off. And she blinks when she loses the signal. And she blinks when she loses the signal. Wow, I need to look into this more. Okay, right, I've parked my quad here. I can walk about, I don't know, 300 meters up to the road. So I'm just gonna carry on walking. I'm so intrigued to find out how far I have to go for this to lose signal. 
Unless, of course, when it loses signal, it doesn't start blinking. But it should do, because when I turn the radio off, it starts blinking. OK, let's give this a go. OK, I'm going to start walking, and then I'll turn off the filming, and then start filming again in a minute. OK, that's how far we're away. I'm going to run out of road, I think. This is extraordinary. It can't be right, I think. Now I'm about to run out of road. Nah, this is crazy. There's something else. I don't think this is flickering to show you that it's in. It's lost um, link with the transmitter. Otherwise, if this is actually doing this, you wouldn't need to buy Crossfire. <laughs> you just take one of these out and stick it in your quad. Let's go beyond there. I'm going to go beyond the building. No. No, wait. There we go. That's extraordinary. I've just lost the signal. That can't be right. I've just lost the signal. And that's on, the, that's on low power. That is extraordinary. There we go. Back again. Move over. Off. There we go. Lost connection. And look how far away that is. I can't believe that's still linked. If you see the white Volkswagen there, my quad bike is way past that. That is extraordinary. Watch, and it definitely is losing signal. So I go here. The building is between me and the receiver. There you go, it's trying to stay connected. Definitely lost connection because I've got a, a huge uh, several buildings in between me and it. That's extraordinary. It's gone further than the XM Plus and further than the old VR receivers that I have. That is just extraordinary. I cannot believe that. Anyway, there we go. Okay, not very scientific, but you can take from it what you want. But that I'm impressed with. I think that's just extraordinary. And it's definitely in low power mode. So if anybody can explain this to me, why this went so far, maybe there is an explanation. And the final part of this video shows me testing the Sema X5C1 quadcopter in range mode. I'm gonna put it into range mode so it's a fair test against the other two receivers. The result in range mode was exactly the same. I got to the same point when the quadcopter started losing the signal. The final results of my range testing test was that the FreeSky V8R4 went approximately 16 meters on range to check before it fail saved. The XM Plus went to 97 meters, then it fail saved, but the same uh, quadcopter went 300 meters, which I really don't understand. But the everything on the radio was set up for the same for each uh, receiver. So take from that what you will. But it was a very interesting test. Maybe there is something that I don't know about that maybe one of my viewers can explain to me why they got the results I did. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Desire Motors.